Has Elon Musk's new chat GPT just destroyed Google? Have you ever wished for a time when AI could write your essays for you? Well, you are in luck because the time is near when your AI could be your personal writer. Obviously, chat GPT has implications far beyond doing your daily homework based on the sheer volume of new users. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into chat GPT and talk about the implications for Google AI. The internet was taken by a complete storm by a new chatbot called ChatGPT. The sheer functionality and innovation of ChatGPT has shocked many, as the number of daily users have swelled up to 1 million. ChatGPT was released by OpenAI, which is an AI chatbot, and has gained a lot of popularity quickly for producing human-like essays. These essays are to the point and for the most part are accurate and seem very authentic. ChatGPT stands for Chat-Based Generative Pre-Trained Transformer Models and is a type of artificial intelligence that connects users with virtual assistants through the use of natural language. This technology is not entirely new since it is based on the now two-year-old GPT-3, which is the third generation of the generative pre-trained transformer model. What makes the chat GPT so unique in the first place and who is behind the groundbreaking technology? A quick and short answer is that ChatGPT produces all relevant answers in real time. ChatGPT was founded by OpenAI, which is a San Francisco-based AI research lab and included tech billionaires, such as Elon Musk and others as its founders. In 2018, however, Elon Musk resigned from the board of OpenAI, but the project remains very near and dear to his heart. Originally founded in 2015 in San Francisco, the company included some big shots such as Sam Altman, Elon Musk, and PayPal founder Peter Thiel. After Musk's resignation from OpenAI, he remained a donor. In 2019, the company received a $1 billion investment from Microsoft. The company OpenAI announced GPT-3, which was a language model, trained from trillions of words fetched from the internet. So let's get into more detail about the first part of the question. Chat GPT is very unique because it can put together a very cohesive answer based on its understanding of natural human language. This answer is almost always well thought out and articulate. ChatGPT is very capable of dealing with a host of applications from customer service and support, education, training, and personal assistant. The scope of its ability is so wide that ChatGPT has generated a legitimate fear among web users lately. The fear is that ChatGPT is so powerful that it will absorb a host of jobs into its fold such as journalists, teachers, among others. Web enthusiasts are also thinking that ChatGPT might even render Google AI redundant. It certainly seems to have the potential to do so, but we'll explore that question towards the end of this video. First, let's talk about how does ChatGPT really work? For users unfamiliar with AI technology, ChatGPT uses a self-learning algorithm based on human responses so that an intuitive chat interface is created which mimics some functions of human memory. For the tech geeks out there, this algorithm is called RLHF or Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback. How does it translate into actual performance? For one, ChatGPT is decidedly more human, or at least it looks more human than Google search engines. Imagine a virtual assistant with a supercomputer worth of information baked into it. ChatGPT is more than just a search engine, which digs up links based on your query. It produces actual answers based on the latest research. So, for the purpose of illustration, search if MBTI is a reliable measure of personality on Google, and write the same question on ChatGPT and you'll see the difference. ChatGPT is not limited to putting out information in an essay format. It it also has a talent for indulging in philosophical thinking or even writing some poetry. For example, a Twitter user who was feeling disillusioned with AI's impact on writing literature prompted it to write a haiku from a copywriter's perspective who is feeling sad that AI might diminish the value of the written word. ChatGPT spat out the following, words on a screen, now just a blur. Machine takes the pen, pretty decent, huh? 
How can ChatGPT get so good? The reason is that ChatGPT was trained on a wide variety of sources cultivated from the internet. Users who were testing the system also rated the responses to their queries. This allowed designers to implement these suggested improvements. The company behind ChatGPT OpenAI has devised this project to benefit humanity as a whole through friendly AI. The cherry on top, ChatGPT is free. You can have access to unlimited, well-referenced articles for free, at least for now. Now let's deal with the elephant in the room. Can ChatGPT completely ruin Google? The answer is, in the long run, yes, because Google's largest revenue comes from its search engines. If ChatGPT could provide superior answers than Google's AI engine, which it does, then it could put the tech giant out of commission. Google works by filtering information by looking through a billion web pages and then making a list of the most relevant web pages. ChatGPT pushes things further. It produces a very specific essay which is a synthesis of all the relevant information. ChatGPT builds its database from millions of websites and produces a seamless response on the interface. It gives the impression that you are talking to a supercomputer and a digital know-it-all. But how has Google responded to ChatGPT massive popularity. Gaining a million users in less than a week must have gotten Google worried. It makes sense, but is Google itself worried? Most analysts have called the threats posed to Google as unnecessary fear-mongering. Google has been using AI in a different way all along. Google's mission is to use AI to augment the abilities of people so that they can get more out of the internet and get more creative. Augmenting implies that Google only aims to bolster existing capacities of its users, whether they are merchants or consumers. Google AI is not meant to replace existing human knowledge but only increase access to it. Why? Because the AI model is simply based on probabilistic calculations, not deterministic ones. This means that any AI can only figure out or spit out information which is based on a probability of it being true. The AI cannot decisively figure out if the information churned out is true or false. ChatGPT has a model which tries to find out what type of information goes with what language contexts. This means that everything that ChatGPT provides information on is based on the training that has been done. What does this all mean? This means that ChatGPT only produces information gleaned from various websites and strings them along in a very thoughtful way. However, it's not to be considered truth by any measure. This means that ChatGPT, although very powerful, is yet far from being factually correct. Just type a somewhat difficult arrhythmic problem and see how incorrect the results are each time you try a new permutation. Another problematic thing with ChatGPT is that although it produces information based on the probability it is true, it does not indicate anywhere in the text that this information may or may not be true. The information thus can be seen as an attempt to spread misinformation. ChatGPT will have to polish over these little issues and then it can be considered as a serious contender to Google AI. How far was Musk involved with this project? While Elon Musk was initially involved with OpenAI, however, his role is constrained to a donor and is no longer responsible for managing its day-to-day -day or executive decision-making. However, Musk's vision can be seen alive and well in ChatGPT. Elon Musk thinks that AI is the best thing that can be done to ensure the future of humanity. However, he also realizes that there are some dangers along the way because in creating an all-powerful AI, we could be threatening humanity on the same grounds. How can it be dangerous for humanity? Well, by expanding the reach to AI to everyone, we're risking giving a powerful tool to everyone. So, do you think ChatGPT can threaten humanity in the future? Feel free to comment in the section below. Also, like this video if you enjoyed the content and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.